Scrolling through Pornhub, I'm on page 50 Trying to find that one video I remember Broke ass nigga, gotta start a code for Christmas I don't want your money nigga, I just want your bitches How's it going nerds? My name is Linkwood And I'm sick right now, but I thought I'd record more Sakura Sadist since I'm sick I, I was gonna just hold off on it, but I really want to get these videos out. So, here I am recording this for you. I hope you can bear my sick voice. And I hope we can get some enjoyment out of this. Let's do it. I just hope she isn't getting the wrong idea here. Though, I didn't take that photo of you because I have a crush on you. It's just a test run. A test? Hmm. I was trying to see how skilled I am in the art of upskirt photography. It's not an art. It could be. You're disgusting. Hey, I'm not the one asking for photos. A venue, Venuses. Well, venues. <laughs> You're still playing along with it. Because it sounds like fun and I'm bored of studying and I really, really want things to work out with Momiko. You never study anyway. It's not possible to be bored of something you don't do. And do you really think things will magically work out with Momiko if you follow her around and take pictures of her underwear? Well, no, not really. But it's fun to imagine. Where's your sense of adventure? This isn't a joke, Azusa. If you get caught taking photos like that on campus, you could get expelled. Oh no, I'll never play the viola again. Which would imply I've played it before, which I haven't. I'm a, I'm mono, monogamous w when it comes to the instruments, and I'd never cheat on my cello. Besides, picking up another instrument sounds like a huge pain in the ass. I don't understand girls like Momiko, who are so skilled they've mastered three instruments, including the harp. That's like learning three languages, and all I can say in English is my name is Bread. <laughs> Take this seriously, please. I know your parents are rich, but not even they'll be able to bail you out if you're caught acting like a pervert. Ouch. Mari certainly sounds serious. She looks serious, too. Her eyebrows are all furrowed. So I guess you really like Momiko. How could I not like her? She's so cute and dreamy. You've hardly spoken a single word to her. That means I can fill in the blanks with my imagination. She's shy, gentle, well-spoken, easily embarrassed, and definitely not the kind of girl who would work at a maid cafe. Of course not. So things would be beneath my sweet, gentle Mamiko. Hmm. It's funny you should say that. What's funny? See for yourself. My gestures to the right, I glance to one side, and... Ah. At that moment, all intelligent thoughts inside my head dies. My eyes widen. My mouth falls open. I stare. I probably look like a goldfish, but I can't bring myself to care. Damn, love some big-ass titties. Cat. Stop playing with the box. Hello, mistress. Would you like a table for two? There, standing in the cafe with a sweet, unassuming smile on her face. No, no way. Is none other than my idol, Matsubara Mamiko. The maid dress is almost criminally short, exposing a generous amount of milky thigh. <laughs> Mamiko's large chest strains against the fabric of the uniform. She looks so cute. I've never imagined my Mamiko could look this adorable in a maid outfit. Mostly because I never imagined her in a maid outfit before. Not the kind of thing Momiko would ever wear. She's too elegant for that. But she is wearing a maid outfit. It's undeniably a maid outfit. Complete with the frilly white knee socks and a frilly white headband. Part of me thinks Momiko might look cuter if she got rid of the dress and only wore the apron. But, but that's lewd. Momiko isn't that kind of girl. Then again, I didn't think she was the kind of girl who would dress up as a maid. She's already proving me wrong. Ah, she looks good. I can't stop staring. Oh, another customer? It's so wonderful to see you, master. Miko bows again. Her chest bounces. I always knew her breasts were big, but they look even bigger in that outfit. Ugh, if I don't watch out, my nose is going to start bleeding. Hey, this girl is pretty cute. I've not seen you around here before. Are you new? Ah, I'm only working here temporarily, master. That's a shame. If you were regular, I'd come every here every day. Can your grades go down, Taka? Ha, well, maybe it's a good thing you don't work here. Maybe it is. I wouldn't want your grades to suffer because of me, master. Ah, so cute. She really is. I think she's just playing up for the customers, playing her role as a maid, but it's working. Now, may I show you to your seats? Go right ahead. Mamiko could lead me into a tank filled with piranhas wearing that outfit, and I'd still follow her. I'd be more than happy to. I'd do anything for her. Her skirt shifts when she walks. If I peer, craning my neck, I think I can see her panties. But I'm too distracted to reach for my phone. All I could do is stare. Mamiko. My Mamiko. What on earth is she doing here? Oh goodness, I'm so embarrassed. Um, I, I must have given you such a start. 
I I'm sorry if I caused you any inconvenience. Oh, don't be silly. It's no inconvenience at all. In fact, it was the opposite. Seeing Lumiko in a maid outfit was a very fulfilling experience, if I do say so myself. If you want to dress like that in your spare time, that's fine with me. It, it is? More than fine. I welcome it wholeheartedly. Well, um, thank you. That's what Miko says, but she still looks a little unsure. I wonder how I can reassure her. Tell her to be for Tell her you think maids are cute. Okay, let's, let's do that. Eh, don't worry about it too much, Mimiko. I think you're really cute dressed as a maid. You do? R really? Really, really? Oh my. I'm not really used to being complimented like that. Huh? But you're like the most beautiful girl on campus. Doesn't everybody tell you how lovely you are? No, no, actually. Not all people are quite so forthcoming with their compliments. I had no idea you felt that way about me, but I suppose it makes me feel, makes me a little bit happy. <laughs> Tildy, I grin proudly. You look even cuter with a smile. Azusa. Mari gives you a withering look. Stop gushing about Miss Matsubara. You'll embarrass her. Oh, oh, please. Call me Mamiko. Um, I really appreciate your attempts to console me, Azusa. I wasn't working at Les Files Angelique because I wanted to. Of course not. I didn't think you were. You're not the type, Miss Matsu- Um, Mamiko. What do you mean, the type? What type do you have to be to work at a maid cafe? Mari makes it sound like some kind of criminal activity, even worse than prejury or underage drinking or eating natto and actually enjoying it. Who seriously enjoys fermented soybeans anyway? Not me, not gonna lie. Ugh. I mean, she isn't like you, Azusa. What does that mean? She's not a deviant. Thanks, Marilyn. You're such a supportive friend. D don't call me that. You deserve it. Uh, um, p please don't argue in front of because of me. We're not arguing because of you. We're arguing because Azusa... Mari flicks my forehead. It stings. Is an idiot. Owie. I think she got a little too excited seeing you in that outfit. She can't think clearly. Oh, goodness. I if that really is true, I would be very flattered. Um, I it's a little embarrassing, but I'm sure Chisukia would be happy about that, too. Sukia? Sukia owns Les Fels Angelique, and she's my older cousin. Your cousin owns a maid cafe? Yes, um, I suppose she's the black sheep of the family. I'll say. Matsuburo Mamiko comes from a pretty famous family. They're almost as famous as my family, which is saying something. Her dad's a composer, and her mom was a popular soprano who released a few solo albums back in the day. They're rather prestigious in the world of classical music, so it makes sense that only daughter Mamiko is also a prodigy. That's the, and there's even more to that. Mamiko's grandmother was a lauded flautist. One of my, her uncles run an adult's choir in Kyoto. And I think a couple of her cousins are music teachers. And then there's this mysterious, slightly less well-known cousin, Sukiya, who works at, who runs a maid cafe. I guess there's there are all sorts in every family. Not that I can blame Sukiya, whoever she is. I feel so stifled by my family. Sometimes I want to drop it all and open my own maid cafe. Who cares about Bach or Brahms when you can surround yourself with cute girls? Damn right. That is damn true. <laughs> well, um... Her business hasn't been doing so well lately, so she asked me to help her out. To attract more customers? Exactly! Um, wearing an outfit like that was a little too much, um, but I'd do anything for Sukiya. You really are a nice girl, Mamiko. Thank you, I, I try my best. But weren't you worried somebody from our university would see you? If it were me, I'd die from of embarrassment. I was a little nervous, um, but Sukiya told me students from Victoria Academy don't often come here. She said she's attracted a more, um, niche clientele. By niche, I imagine she means creepy, nerdy guys. Well, yes, though creepy is a bit harsh. Besides, a lot of girls go to- Besides, a lot of girls go to Le Feuze Angelique. Really? Mmm, mmm. I was a little surprised, but, but apparently they think our outfits are cute. They are cute, super cute. You get the Azusa seal of approval. As if somebody- as if anybody would want that. And I go to the cafe all the time. There's no rule that's saying girls can't like cute maids. I don't know if you really count as a girl, Azusa. And we'll find out if she does in the next episode. So if you have a great day, know you're beautiful, and I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all again soon. Thank you for coming out. And I hope I get better soon so I don't keep sounding like this. Have a good one. Love you guys. Mwah. Roll the outro. Love you girls across the nation. I'll keep this up. Babe, I know that it's you so but could you better leave? Do 
it for the love, for the love. Yes, I do. So you don't care about the money? Well, yes, it's true. And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny. All material things could mean less to me. Only thing I ever could need is a Sarah B. Sample with a dope ass beat. And get the mic check. All the levels right. And if it's good, then I'll be here for several nights. Cause the only thing I need is a strong supporting team.